Hello guys, this is Pradeep. So today uh, we're going to talk about the 2021.10 updates, 10.3. So as you can see, I have uh, installed uh, Studio 2021.10.3. Uh, in this version, we have few updates on RE framework, basically. So let's get started with that. As you can see, we have a uh, argument key folder and the name and let me open the config file as well mm -hmm. data config yes so as you can see in the constants we have few few name a few values extra so which is nothing but all these values consecutive exception message consecutive errors if the number of consecutive system exceptions are reached, the description of that, and you guys know all these, and maximum consecutive system exception is zero. The number of consecutive system exception allowed if maximum consecutive system exception is reached, and the job is stopped. The to disable this feature, set the value by to zero. So by default, it's zero. You can increase this. So let me minimize this. So we'll go from, as you know, the RE framework is a state machine template. And we have uh, four states, initialization, get transaction data, process transaction data, sorry, state, and end process. So these lines are interconnected. Those are nothing but transition lines. Yeah, let's go with the initialization now. So the major changes are, we have included um, this one of oh, q folder this is a new one uh, i think this is not this one yeah this one as you can see if the executive max consecutive system exception number was reached throw exception at initialization and go to the end process directly so as you can see here uh, the condition c end is nothing but converting the config max executive max max consecutive system exception okay let me open this properties yeah so this part config this is this is we are getting from config right so here let's say we have some one or zero so this will come this will check if zero is greater than zero this is converting to integer and also Consecutive system exception is greater than or equal to so it's the same thing again, again. So we are just checking the condition to make sure that we are, um, what do you say? We are not reaching or maximize or exceeding the value which we provided in Excel. If if we do that, we are going to throw an ex system exception. It's a new system, a new exception, and we are going to end the process. See, the consecutive system exception is default to zero. Yeah, this is we have another variable called consecutive system exception in here. So that is the one change in the initialization. And as you can see, this all remains same. We are just assigning system exception to exception. And we'll go back to the get transaction data. In get transaction data, we don't have much changes. There we have uh, involved in get transaction data. Previously, we have get transaction item without try catch and uh, without try, uh, retry scope. Now we have that to make sure that we extract all the queue items properly and uh, without fail. You can also increase the retry number here. Retry interval, retry number. Okay, yeah, it is in from config and increase that as well. Mm, where is that? It's too slow. Yeah, mm, yeah. We have included uh, within the transaction catch get transaction item. We are re-throwing the same exception. If we get and uh, this this uh, exception is 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 going to catch in this part. So 
we are good then here we are assigning transaction item is equal to nothing if there is any exception while extracting uh, um items from queue if there is an exception if there is any system exception within the flow uh we are going to assign transaction item is equal to nothing then if there is no data we are going to end the process so that's how the logic is so yeah i'll show you if if transaction item is not nothing we are going to process transaction if transaction item is nothing we are going to directly the end process saying process we need to know more transaction data so this is the another part and process transaction there are few changes basically now i'll show you what how it happened so previous in the previous versions of re framework we have a process flow within try and uh, this is a business exception and system exception and in finally we had a set transaction item correct so here we have set transaction status flow but now in this case we have everything in this so this is a, a process flow we're not going to touch that here as you can see try catch set transaction status only if it is success so everything is the same flow is involved here but we are uh, making sure that it's in, in uh, different flows the flow the flow didn't change anything there they, they, they are not much changes in this as you can see so just uh, we are checking transaction item is not nothing and also we are just checking the transaction item is uh, q type q item if it is yes then we are going to set a transaction item as well successful within try catch and we have covered it in retry scope so this is a set transaction success success uh, flow and this is same as business same as previous one we have involved with the try catch and the retry scope and as uh, let's see with system exception this is the queue retry number same so it takes in short and the queue retry updating status try catch and the cover with the retry scope and we are incrementing the consecutive system exception here that's it and incrementing the transaction number as well and assigning system ex exceptions is equal to zero so that we don't get to end transaction when we are in the in it or yeah so this is a set transaction status when we are ending the flow in this in when let's say we got some business exception business exception within this flow within this drive block and we ended up here same we are assigning business exception is equal to exception and the same flow entire same flow business rule exception and uh, everything remains same the flow remains same no changes as nothing and the if you open the flow same so we are just um, instead of assigning here and going to the final activity so we are just adding each each set transaction status to different uh, catches as well as try so this is the main this is the few parts where we have uh, the uh, ui path has implemented in the recent update in our framework and the new variables if i see we have one consecutive system exception so i told you as i told you it, it's it, this this is available this is incrementing in uh, set transaction status flow and the argument is nothing but the queue folder these are nothing but the parameters from when you are passing uh, or when you are running a running a robot or running a, running a process in from orchestrator or else from assistant you can make use of this and uh, let's go with his so we can use a retry get numbers transaction item number set transaction status this is covered in set transaction status and this try catch or a retry scope is covered in um, get transaction data yep this is it guys so uh 
you can go through the preview if you want to go through the if you want to, if you want to understand the entire i framework from scratch you can go through the previous uh, previous sessions in the same channel thank you guys